Welcome back everyone. So last time we replaced the thermostat and the thermostat housing. While I was in there, I opened up the radiator cap and I noticed there was a few chunks of rust. Um, small chunks, but they were there. And that makes me think, hey, maybe I need a good flush. Now the coolant in this thing is only about a year old, but that doesn't mean that there couldn't be other junk inside the block. Also, we're gonna do a chemical flush. We're gonna use this product called Thermal Cure. I've never used it before. Actually, I've never used any chemical flush before. So we're gonna see how it works and if it does anything at all. And then we're gonna test the temperature too. First things first though, we have to drain the radiator and start flushing. And just like last time, we're gonna use my spill-free kit. I highly recommend this thing, this thing is awesome. All right, let's start pouring some distilled water in. Okay, this is drain one. Look at that, that's all junk that was inside the radiator. And this coolant's only a year old. So I think we're onto something here. All right, let's do drain number two. Okay, so now that we got some water in there, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna keep this filled up, but I'm gonna turn the Jeep on, turn the heater on full blast and get all the water and coolant to circulate and then we'll drain it again. And we're just gonna keep doing this. All right, it's all drained out. Let's put the thermal cure in. Okay, so the air is out of the system, the thermal cure is in, and uh, yeah, all there is left to do now is drive it for a few days and see what happens. It says up to three or four days, so uh, I guess we'll do it for about two. There's really not a whole lot of rust in my system, I think, so I don't think there's any reason to go for a week. But anyway, let's get all this buttoned up and then uh, start driving it, and we'll come back and drain it and see what happens. Before we start the test this morning, I just want to kind of show you how many flushes it took and what came out of my system as we were flushing it with thermal cure. So from the left to the right, the first three you see there, those are just draining coolant, draining and flushing the coolant out of the system. Then we used thermal cure and you can see what came out, it was just absolutely nasty. And then we kept going and kept going until finally I got clear water. That's how many flushes it took to clear all of this out of the system and honestly the difference between the clear coolant and the thermal cure is striking. I never would have thought that would have come out of my system. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we'll get up the temperature and then we'll see what happens. There we are, we're at 210. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we are. We did hit 225, let's cool it down. So do I recommend Thermocure? Yes, I think it's an awesome system. Um, it really worked on my Jeep as the test results show. It took a lot longer to hit 225. We still got there, so there's still some more work to do. I think the water pump is next. That's what we're gonna do. Take a look at the factory and aftermarket water pumps. But Thermocure seems to be an awesome system, really worked for me. I'd recommend it to anyone who's having heating issues and you know that your components are good or new or you're planning to replace your components knowingly that you have not maintenance your cooling system in a while. Um, I obviously did not maintenance the cooling system as well as I should have. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.